Do you concentrate like, you know, like you do it, it's kind of like, now this thing here is looking at me. It was kind of bizarre because he would just stare at me. This little hamster is looking at me. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 CIA operations and programs you have never heard of. Operation Midnight Climax is part of a larger top secret CIA program called MK Ultra. For this list, we'll be ranking the obscure and declassified CIA operations that may have flown under your conspiratorial radar. Can you confirm or deny knowing about any of these CIA programs? Let us know, or don't, in the comments. Number 10, the Takana Project. The CIA was gonna have to get creative and return to the animal kingdom again. CIA's Office of Research and Development created a camera small and light enough to be carried by a pigeon. The Cold War between the United States and the former Soviet Union was in no shortage of wacky espionage ideas, but the Takana project was on another level of strange. The idea behind the declassified project was to use pigeons, having already excelled in carrying wartime messages on the battlefield, for a new frontier, espionage. A BBC article from 2019 detailed some of the specifics behind Operation Takana, Specifically, how the U.S. was attaching tiny cameras to the birds and conducting tests as to their efficiency. The pigeons must have looked absolutely innocent. These tests actually came back with half-decent results, and a full-fledged pigeon mission was written on the books in September of 1976. The rest of the story, unfortunately, remains classified. Are you referring to bird drone surveillance? Yeah. Number nine, Operation Gladio. Un beau jour, un soir, euh, cette personne est venue chez moi et m'a demandé si je voulais euh, me charger de, de mission confidentielle. Il a expliqué que c'était quelque chose qui était dans le cadre du, de l'OTAN. There is a lot to unpack within the multinational and organizational collaboration known as Operation Gladio. In short, Efforts were made to offset a potential Soviet invasion of Europe under the Warsaw Pact via the development of stay-behind resistance groups in countries like Italy, Belgium, and Switzerland. The latter country's neutral status makes Operation Gladio of particular interest. There's also the operation's debated influence within Italy's Years of Lead, a period of far-right and left terrorist attacks throughout the 1960s, 70s, and 80s. Operation Gladio was a joint venture between the CIA, NATO, and others, although explicit details weren't revealed about its execution until declassification hearings in 1990 and 2006. Gladio existed in Italy, in France, in Swiss, in Belgium, in tout cas, and probably, yes, oui, in Espagne, avant September 49, so before the creation of the CIA. But, comme ils le font souvent, les Américains sont montés dans le train en marche. Number eight, Operation Chaos. Does the CIA conduct their intelligence gathering efforts domestically? The short answer is yes, and it doesn't begin and end with Operation Chaos. This specific project, however, focused its efforts between the years of 1967 and 1974, in part as a reaction to the growing anti-war movement at home. The wheels of Operation Chaos were initially put in motion by President Lyndon B. Johnson after the assassination of John F. Kennedy. But it was under President Nixon where chaos truly reigned. CIA spying efforts focused on, but weren't limited to, targets such as the Black Panthers and the B'nai B'rith, developing case files on over 7,000 American citizens. Number seven, the CIA makes an adult film. Indonesia's President Sukarno was its first elected official after gaining independence from Dutch colonization in 1945. Unfortunately, Sukarno's sympathy for communist interests in the region didn't sit well with organizations like the CIA, MI6, or the KGB, and numerous efforts were put in place to unseat Sukarno from power. But at the end of the Ramadan, there was a large gathering at the main square in uh, Jakarta, and who came there? Uh, uh, Sukarno. 
Some of these leaned into the president's immense sexual appetite, such as when the KGB filmed agents posing as flight attendants engaging in explicit acts with Sukarno. Additionally, the CIA actually produced an adult film domestically involving a full-face replica of Sukarno. Neither plan went well, as Sukarno never saw the CIA's sleazy movie, and he supposedly requested extra copies of the sex tape from the KGB. Number 6. The Lunic Kidnapping It sounds like something out of a 1960s spy film. It was The Lunic Kidnapping, a bold operation by the CIA to steal and study a Soviet spacecraft during the Cold War. The Lunic was being lauded by the Soviet Union as an important step forward in studying the moon. What's the problem? I think you know what the problem is just as well as I do. What are you talking about, Hal? This mission is too important for me to allow you to jeopardize it. And it was part of a traveling exhibition at the time. This wasn't a fully operational version of the Lunik, but its outer shell was still seen as a valuable informational asset to the CIA. Agents were able to intercept, open up, and study the Lunik at a rail yard, and discovered that some of the internal mechanisms were left behind. These were confiscated and brought back to the US for study. Number 5. The Stargate Project the objective of the project was to create super soldiers. Soldiers with superpowers. We were the first generation of the New Earth Army. You've got superpowers. That's correct. If you've seen the 2009 film The Men Who Stare at Goats, then you might be familiar with the next CIA-sponsored project on this list. The Stargate Project was developed by the U.S. Army with the intent of studying whether or not psychic abilities could be harnessed and developed within ordinary soldiers or intelligence agents. These psychotronic studies, a term used by the state's KGB contemporaries, didn't end up amounting to much and were not overseen by a large group. Instead, the sum of the Stargate Project never exceeded 20 participants and was largely seen as a failure. You know, because humans can't be harvested as psychic weapons against other governments. The general had no doubt that the ability to pass through walls would one day be a common tool in the US military arsenal. This might herald the dawning of a world without war, because who would want to mess with an army that could do that? Number 4. Operation Mongoose Plans call for an eight-day air campaign. It'll light a fire under the army's ass to get in place. General May, do you truly believe that's our best course of action? Mr. President, I believe it is the only course of action. It was the failed Bay of Pigs invasion in 1961 that directly influenced the implementation of Operation Mongoose shortly thereafter, a direct assault by the CIA against communist Cuba. CIA cells collaborated with, of all things, the American Mafia through some of these operations. These included, but were not limited to, arms deals and industrial sabotage efforts, all with the intention of removing Fidel Castro from power in Cuba by 1962. The escalating tensions between Cuba and the United States, specifically the Cuban Missile Crisis, reportedly put a halt to Operation Mongoose, although some academics, such as author Noam Chomsky, maintain that the terrorist efforts continued throughout and after the crisis. See, the whole thing of this was the whole cloak and dagger stuff, you know. They called it Operation Mongoose. Mm. The whole idea was they were going to train these Cuban exiles, you know, for another invasion of Cuba. Number three. Operation Midnight Climax. Unbeknownst to his supervisors, White also works for the CIA. His job, to conduct experiments for an operation called Midnight Climax. The title of this next operation may sound like it was designed to coincide with our aforementioned CIA sex tape, but Operation Midnight Climax actually has more in common with the paranormal studies of the Stargate Project. This was a subdivision of the comparatively more well-known Project MK Ultra. When the Rockefeller Report on the CIA came out, there was in it a grisly story of a CIA experiment on an unwitting civilian who was given LSD. A domestic terrorist drug study conducted by the CIA between the 1950s and 70s. Operation Midnight Climax employed local sex workers in the San Francisco area, who would then dose their clients with drugs and engage them in conversation. These conversations were monitored by the CIA via one-way glass partitions in order to see which chemicals might be helpful when interrogating foreign enemies. It's a lot easier to break a man than you might think, Dr. Olson. Confusion to the enemy. Number two, Operation Gold. This was all dug out by hand in the 
months, four days. It took three shifts working round the clock. Fears and anxiety over potential nuclear war served as the impetus for Operation Gold in 1954 thanks in part to aggressive nuclear testing by the Soviet Union. Operation Gold was a joint venture between the CIA and MI6 in the UK and consisted of a tunnel dug beneath occupied Soviet territory in Germany. Agents from both countries were able to tap into conversations conducted by the Soviet Union, although the latter admittedly were made aware of the Operation Gold tunnel almost immediately. You make sure that these are left untouched. It's the safest place in the world. I can trust you, can't I? This was due to a mole planted within MI6's ranks, a communist and double agent named George Blake. He was discovered and imprisoned in 1961, but escaped to Moscow, living as a Soviet hero until his death on December 26, 2020. That was when the Americans had the idea of building a tunnel to tap the telephone lines of the Russian military. It was a way of collecting a huge amount of information. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into settings and switch on your notifications. Number one, the Phoenix program. I can conclude that because of the Phoenix program, I who had not been a Viet Cong cadre, turned into a man who actively participated in Viet Cong affairs. The Phoenix program was just one of the stories to come out of the Vietnam War, an operation initially kicked off by the CIA in collaboration with Australia and South Vietnam in 1967. Although U.S. involvement was abandoned only two years after being implemented, the Phoenix program is remembered today for its laser-focused mission statement to destroy the Viet Cong. Targeted killings, torture, terrorism, and more were all on the table during the Phoenix program, and the project faced intense criticism. Well, search and destroy uh, is an attempt to, as the, the first word would indicate, to uh, find the enemy to search out where he would be, and then to destroy him in his habitat. Once details of its implantation were finally made public, it was officially shut down in 1972, but continued under a new name, Plan F6, by the South Vietnamese government. And so what we did in Vietnam those final days was to commit the one error that an intelligence officer must never make. We let people who were for us see that in a crunch we wouldn't do anything to help them. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.